Oh, bother. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Boy, have I had a bad two days with having to go through two really bad horror movies. The first of which I am talking about, or the second of which, depending on which one you watch first, is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. If you knew me in real life, which none of you do, except for a few of you that are friends of mine that probably will still probably not be watching this video, but if you know me in real life, you probably may know I love Winnie the Pooh. I still do, which is why this is an absolute dumpster fire. Whew. Okay, now we have now that we have that out of the way, we can move on to the good. Well, yeah, there, there you have it. That's about all that is good about this film. Now, let's move on to the bad. Oh man, this thing's going to be like an hour long if we're moving on to the bad now already. So, first off, the design of Pooh and Piglet is horrible. I think the design is horrendous. It basically just looks like two hillbillies in a mask. I think that it is so low budget. It They try so hard and it will fail so miserably. If you have this low of a budget for a film that you know you are not going to be able to do, you don't make the film. The I hate how they have uh, Pooh drooling all the time. Well, should I call him Pooh Bear or should I just call him Pooh? Yeah, I'm just going to call him Pooh because that's, because that's what this film is. So anyway, Pooh, the design of him, he's like almost always like having honey dripping down, almost like drenching, like kind of like how a the aliens are in Alien Resurrection, how they're completely just dripping in snot or whatever. Th that's basically Pooh. He's always like just... Ugh, yeah. Piglet's design is horrendous. This is nothing like Piglet. This is... This is not Piglet at all. This is no, it looks nothing like him from the cartoon. At least Pooh Bear looks partially, partially like he does in the animated version with the overwhelming like kind of design outline feature looks like him. It's just this. This is not Piglet. This is some weird hillbilly with with a cross between a walrus and a pig, and most of that is the walrus. And I think that I hate the way that Piglet grunts um, in the film. I hate the way that they designed the film. The The low budget shows. There's so much CGI used in this in terms of the blood and gore. It's mostly CGI. It's horrible. So offensive to me. The fact that they've already made... And the fact that they managed to get off, get two spinoffs of Bambi and Peter Pan, both horror movies, uh, in the same cinematic universe, as well as a Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, before this film even saw a dime, really, really, just was like, okay, yeah, these these guys are really, you just don't give a care, they're really, and the fact that this, the second one is going to have, a, like, a five times the budget, and just so you know, the budget of this movie was $100,000, that was not much, I can tell you, that's not much to make a movie like this, and you can tell, like, you can tell, some of the shots are so bad, the editing is horrible. Everything about this movie is the worst example of just awful making in a film. Like, everything. Like, you get pointless nudity in the film for at one point, which is... If you like that, then you're... Well, anyway. It's just, I don't like the film. I thought that it was horrible. Everything. Everything. It's just such a gross movie that you, like, are... Seriously. You are bastardizing probably the most beloved children's, uh, the most beloved children's, uh, just like, uh, property, possibly of all time, and you make this to destroy it because the film rights were up in the air for someone, uh, to just snatch, and they, gr and they snatched it. What they handled with Christopher Robin ending on a cliffhanger, and then it says, Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh will return. Oh, so now we're in Marvel. Great. So now we're in the MCU. Where what are they saying? The Pooh will return. Pooh will return. They. It looks like they killed Piglet, but how is Piglet surviving this stuff? He gets sledgehammered three times in the face, hard, and I don't like the way that they can make Pooh now suddenly emote. Like there's one scene in particular where he's where Piglet is being absolutely destroyed, and Pooh just comes up with a knife and he like. Uh, is choking this woman and he and her mouth is open so he uses that big knife that's this huge and he just stabs her in the mouth so and it just keeps on pulling and pushing it through her mouth and his expression looks furious and and also there's some shots that just look bad 
just playing bad. The CGI is awful. The characters are unmemorable. Some of them look alike, so it's so difficult to tell who dies. I ha I had several points, had no idea who died because several of the people look alike. And her main character is kind of interesting, but the fact is they kill her off. In They kill her off at the end of the film. And I'm like, seriously? Did you seriously just introduce us to a new final girl just to kill her off for no reason? Seriously? It was so pointless and unnecessary. If you are going to kill your final girl, don't put her in the film. Just don't. It's not needed. Just make Christopher Robin the, the standout of the film. It's just so idiotic that you can make a film this bad. There's nothing good about this film. It is a gross film. It just is the epitome of everything wrong with today's society for films. This is everything you don't want in a film. A film that is just... So unbelievably bad. A film that you can tell they were not trying to make a good film. There is no way someone was intentionally trying to make a good film, which is odd because you take a look at the directors and an interview they did. They actually seem very passionate about this film. Don't know why. It's that bad. I have no idea why. And the worst part is I'm probably going to get a lot of bad stuff in the comments below, especially since... Uh, on social media, the directors really have been just absolutely destroying people that are taking a jab at it, which is pretty much everyone. So, as soon as I could, I could see some people uh, being nicer to this film. But uh, seriously, I another thing that brings it lower is the fact that the, the directors and just people involved with the film are then deciding to blame others and then be like, uh, "Well, this guy's dumb because he didn't like the film." Literally, that is nearly not, that's like ninety nine percent of the population that didn't like this film. And you're going to try and point out other people that didn't like the film? Dude, this is not a good film. You need to know that. this It is horrible. The gore is unimpressive. It's mostly mostly CG uh, gore, so it doesn't look good at all. So it's just everything wrong with a film like this. It's a terrible horror movie. This is the worst possible example of a horror movie. This is not what you come to a horror movie for. You come for, to a horror movie for something like Halloween. Uh, or Scream, or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or something really good. Well, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is just good. I would, just a very difficult film to watch. Um, but like Scream, Halloween, those are top tier horror movies. And then you get to film like this. If you are trying to get into an introduction to horror movies, and you go with this, I don't think you're gonna, you're probably not gonna be given a horror chance anytime soon, because boy, this is the worst example of starting out with horror. The Everything about this film is horrendous. There's not a good thing about this film. I would not compliment this film if I had a bullet pointed at my head. I mean, if I had a gun pointed at my head, I would take that bullet and eat it rather than compliment this film. I think uh, probably the most offensive part is the opening, which some people actually enjoyed with the animation. The animation was not even... It was okay, I guess. But it's the fact that they do things like... They say that the animals eat Eeyore. Ugh! Oh. That's just disgusting, especially considering I still love Eeyore. Yes, he's a bit depressed, but still. And the fact that they do this, and you, if you wanted this, if you had leaned into the, like, schlocky, silly side of it, maybe it would have worked. But you don't. You go and play it dead serious. It doesn't work. Everything's wrong with it. <sighs> it's just, ugh. Oh, it's just such a bad film. And another reason, Piglet and... Piglet and Pooh, they are the only characters you get in here, which is horrible. If you want to get them, you need to get in, like, uh, other people in here, which you're getting in the sequel. Uh, you already know what, uh, they already have Owl and Tigger's design in the second one, because Owl and Tigger are up for butchering next. I've already seen Owl's design, which is far superior to Pit to Tigger's, because, because I'm going to tell you, in the animation, uh, in the animated, uh, stuff, Tigger is, like, very skinny, and very, like, he's very skinny. This is a very chubby uh, Tigger, then. I'm guessing that he was most of the person that ate Eeyore, then. Because, yeesh, the, the, the design is horrible of all of them. I just don't like it. Owl's design's mildly impressive, but still, I can't stand this film. It's just a gross film. That It's just a film that just angers me so much. This is up there with Alien 3 and Terminator 3 for, like, the most just a absolutely gross and just utterly offensive movie that they... Or trying to destroy a property. T3 tries to destroy the ending of T2. Alien 3 does destroy the ending of Aliens. 
and this movie destroys Winnie the Pooh. I now cannot look at any Winnie the Pooh thing without thinking of this film. And that's all because these directors wanted to butcher and bastardize a character that I absolutely loved. So I can now thank them for destroying one of my childhood idols. So, so great. And luckily my parents like rented Peacock for a bit. So I not only got this done, finally, because I needed to watch this film so I could destroy it. So now, I, now I just need to get the Continental done. So I have two really bad films out of the way. I can now... Just go to the Continental. <sighs> Except I now have to do a Versus episode on Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and <sighs> um, the the meme one tomorrow. Great. I am so having a bad day. But anyway, that is my review for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Uh, I, I gave this a one-half review on Letterboxd, and I stand by that. It was horrendous. It was awful. I could not stand it. I thought this film was horrible. I thought that everything is one of the reasons why you do not want... This is the example of what you don't want your horror movie to be. It's awful. The editing is terrible. Everything about this movie is bad, so I do not recommend it. Just watch the spoiler reviews and watch my reviews and like and subscribe to my channel so you don't have to go through such a movie like this. Normally, I would say... Uh, you know what? I didn't like it, but maybe you'll like it. Um, because like things like Alien vs Predator Requiem, I did not like that film at all. I would still say, you know what? I would recommend you like give it a. I would say if if you were like, okay, do I need to watch this film or not? I would say probably not. It's not a good film. I would say, but also you could give it a shot if you want because it may be up your uh, up your alley. I would not recommend you watch this film at all, even if you think it's up your alley. Believe me, it's that bad. Just. Don't. I have not seen a single positive review except for one, and even then, that was completely dumb. Just don't watch this movie. Don't. Please. I am begging you. Do not give this film money. Maybe, if since this one was an enormous critical failure, I'm telling you, it got a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's only, it's like 2.8 on IMDb. It was a massive bomb in terms of their critical reception. So maybe... If it's, uh, two bom if Winnie the Pooh 2 bombs because of the fact that it has a bigger budget as well as the fact that uh, the it was such a critical failure, no one's going to want to see it. I mean, the sequel. Hopefully, if the second one bombs, they will be like, okay, we need to stop this. Okay, apparently, they, they were telling us we shouldn't have done it the first time. The second time, they're really getting angry. So, please, don't give this film money. I need this second film to bomb. I need everything in the cinematic universe to be destroyed. So please, don't give this film money. I do not recommend it. I think this film is awful. But thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe because I am trying to reach my goal of 300 subscribers because it's not even December yet and I am at 274, I think. And this is a huge achievement for me. Thank you so much for this and please like and subscribe. I will do a live Q&A as soon as I get to 300. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to get started on the four other Rambo sequels because I'm doing a watch-along for the other four Rambo sequels since I just did a watch-along for First Blood. So if you have not seen those, get catch, uh, get caught up on those because I will be in that, because I will be spoiling stuff in that uh, watch-along where I'll be going over the beats. So please like and subscribe and have a good one.